So what we're looking at there, there again, you've got your Barracuda system, that camouflage netting to try and uh, uh, hide the heat signature of the vehicle to a degree. 120 millimetre gun, still a powerful weapon, even if it's getting a bit old. Yeah, it is getting on a bit, but it's still very confident. So it means he'll cue a gun up at the target, the gun will continue engaging that target, and the commander can then scan around look for a second target, lays it, put the information into the computer, so once the first target's been destroyed, you can instantly engage the second target. It makes it much more efficient than just individual targets. And the other one that Bolton Tanks have, that little rubber cap at the end, can you explain that muzzle reference system? If you look at the end of the barrel, little rubber black cap on the end, there's a mirror under that. How does that work? So essentially it's a highly punched mirror. Um, we, buy, we, we bounce the light source from the tissue that reflects off the mirror back into the sun. Now if the gun's been firing against hot, it starts to uh, walk and change direction. We can put a correction range, we know how much and the fire control system will automatically update the sight. So it's a very accurate gun. Um, obviously, Challenger One's got the. We've got the guy here today who actually was in the vehicle that made the longest tank kill. Uh, he was giving a talk earlier. What, what would you say was an engagement distance for Challenger Two if you're firing a fit round? What, what would be ideal as a commander? So, with my gun range up ahead, it's 2,000 meters. And that's just because of not the accuracy, it's the ability to build the target more live. See the objective of any remaining forces.
Most area position has been cleared. The infantry call signs can be built. Hello, 050 is India. It is now clear. Objective is clear.